In the year 2013, the movie White House Down was released. This movie starred James Woods, who served as the head of presidential security as a paramilitary group attacked the U.S. government, including the White House and the U.S. Capitol. In the movie, James Woods is an aggrieved and bereaved father who is upset at the president and orchestrated the attack on our federal government because he is pissed off that that president ordered his son to his death in a botched military action in the Mideast. James Woods is a Hollywood legend. James Woods is now performing the same role against the corrupt government apparatuses that infiltrated Twitter.com to ban his social media accounts. DNC Down is the sequel. And James Woods starring once again. James Woods is a legendary actor. He's not just the man who the high school is named after in Family Guy. He starred in movies like Casino and Once Upon a Time in America. Award-winning movies like Any Given Sunday and critically acclaimed movies like The Indictment and Nixon and Contact. You know, Disney totally rewrote Hercules in order to accommodate James Woods' style of delivery. It's an incredible story, and he is bringing the hellfire to the DNC for getting him banned. What happened? Well, we found out this week that apparatchiks at the DNC, these censorous scum, requested the removal of James Woods' tweet. We saw this in the Twitter documents dump from Matt Taibbi over the weekend. Elon Musk freeing the bird and flipping the bird to the structures of power in our country, showing exactly how it worked. How it worked was if you wanted a tweet to come down and you had a friend at Twitter, you just sent them the tweet and they would action the account. Ladies and gentlemen, they went after James Wood for sharing a meme. Feats, don't fail me now, James Woods tweeted to his millions of followers with a photo of Hunter Biden naked smoking crack saying, I'm on Team Joe. Twitter, of course, locked down his account and James Woods had not been on Twitter since. Consider this my resignation. Under new management, James Woods is back. And now that Elon has released exactly who got him banned, James Woods is saying he is going to sue the sh out of the DNC and he's going to give them everything he's got, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, a takedown in real life of the federal government and the corrupt, rotted apparatus at the center of it. James Wood coming in hard on Tucker Carlson's show. Listen, Twitter, under pressure from Democrats, deleted a tweet from the legendary actor James Woods, who had straight outside the lines by criticizing Hunter Biden. The DNC told, this before the last election, told Twitter to take it down, and so they did. James Woods joins us now by phone. James Woods, are you there? Yes, I am, Tucker. So nice to talk to you. It's great to talk to you. I vaguely remember when your tweet was pulled down. You, of course, remember it. Did you suspect at the time it was pulled down at the direct request of the Democratic National Committee? I'm not surprised at all. I'm shocked uh, the way any other American would be if he were a target of a presidential candidate and a yeah. major political party. I've been a target of these people for six years. They have destroyed my career. They have destroyed my livelihood. They've destroyed my faith in a country that my family has defended uh, in the military since the Revolutionary War. I'm about to be inducted into Sons uh, of the uh, American Revolution and Sons of the Revolution. Um, uh, I, I cannot. I, I, you're, you're catching me a bit off guard because I literally just walked in the door and my wife yeah. said, have you seen your phone? I was at the firing range, <laughs> believe it or not practicing Good for, for you. Uh, my rights under the Second Amendment, which I guess now that I don't have any First Amendment rights anymore, I'm glad that I still have some Second Amendment rights. I, I yeah. think the whole thing is uh, astonishing. I, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm for the first time in my life, 
honestly speechless. Is there some kind of legal or civil recourse that you would have against the people who violated your First Amendment rights? I can guarantee you one thing, more than anything else you'll ever hear in your life. I will be getting a lawyer. I will be suing the Democratic National Committee no matter what, whether I win or lose. I am going to stand up for the rights that every American, not a so-called celebrity, I'm not a celebrity, I'm hardly recognizable anymore because my career has been destroyed by these very people. And I will sue, and I'm hoping other people will sue. And if it turns out there are a lot of us on this list where the DNC targeted us, and I will quote the immortal words of Joseph Welch when he attacked Bill McCarthy for the enemies list he had, at long last, sir, have you no shame. They don't have any shame, ladies and gentlemen, and they will feel shame only if they are meant to feel pain. And James Woods is going to be bringing some of the legendary pain that only he can bring. James Woods decided instead of deleting the tweet in question of Hunter Biden crack, smoking crack, that he would simply leave Twitter. That, of course, is a major loss to all of us. James Woods is back and more legendary than ever. His response to being censored, never in my life did I imagine my speech would be suppressed on the world's biggest platform by a central party committee. This is something out of a Stasi spy novel. James Woods also wrecking fellow Hollywood glitterati member Alyssa Milano, saying that she gave back her Tesla to buy a VW, which is the car of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party because she doesn't want to support white supremacy. Cough up the eight bucks, James Woods says. I gotta say, Elon Musk, you've definitely made Twitter fun again, right down to the sweet sound of liberals screeching from their safe spaces and moving to Canada. Please continue to move to Canada. Have any have any, of you, any of you moved to Canada yet? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Be, has anyone moved to Canada? Please let us know. Final thoughts on the election. One side elected a dead guy, brain damaged guy, and has engineered the worst economy and border catastrophe in a century. Its leader can't read a teleprompter nor answer a question coherently. Yet the other side is still lost. The end. James Woods saying we need more fighters in the Republican Party, people who could fight for him, presumably. Some This would have never happened if we had a strong Republican Party, if we had a competent and competent Republican Party, and we had leaders at the top with brass balls, leaders at the top who were ready to go flames on. Unfortunately, that's been left to actors and to foreigners like Elon Musk who understand the American liberties better than many of the people who were born and raised here and who pretend that they are leaders inside of our party. God bless James Woods. Let us know where we can donate to your legal defense. Sue the sh- out of these people and send them right back to hell where they belong. James Woods, we look very much forward to watching your White House Down sequel, DNC Down. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.